This is Bukuru in just south local government of Plateau State, a community that over the years had been ravaged seriously by religious conflict and crisis. As a result of this crisis, um, settlements were based on religious divides, with the Christians settling on one side and the Muslims settling on another side. Christian Faith Ministries, through her Community Development and Peace Initiative, decided to take steps towards reconciling the community. As such, the vision for Bukuru Ken Computer Institute was born about two years ago, uh, a computer training facility where young people are trained irrespective of their religious background. And over the course of these two years, we have had Muslims and Christian youths come together and be trained, equipped with viable skills for life by both Christian and Muslim instructors without any form of discrimination. Christian Faith Ministries Media today paid a visit to Bukuru Kent Computer Institute to see how the place is faring after being in operation for about two years. And here is their report. My name is Abubakar Sadiq Garba from Angwanduki. I get to know this place by one of my Christian friends that he told me since I'm jobless, I should come and seek for the computer knowledge. In one book, we can computer is owned by a Christian person. What I've experienced here about their services, almost everything here is was very excellent because a person is attached to the, each and every one of us is with his computer. All the instructors, they used to be, what we are teaching us was very excellent. I'm glad I'm here. My name is Wasanda Ashetia. I'm Christian by religion. And I come to this place through one of the staff. His name is Abdullah Muhassan. So before in Plateau State, this place, Christians are not entering this place because of the crisis and some other things. But now, by this program, we Christians now used to, we can enter, we can pass, and also Muslims, uh, they can enter where Christians are. So, but before, it's not like that. People are just fighting here and there, crisis all, 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 all about. But because of the disorganization, they have helped to bring peace and stability in the area. My name is Yakubu Joseph. I'm a Christian and um, I got to know about Boku Kent Institute through a friend who told me about the computer school and I developed interest in making myself uh, literate in this aspect. And then um, over the years, it, I think I've not been to this community for like five years now, not until this year that I got to know about this institute and it has brought me in. And the reason why I've not been here over the years is because of the crisis. I usually get scared of coming in and only stop at the place where Christians are. But because of the school, it has actually brought me in and then made me understand that peace has been restored. And for this reason, I have got to know most Muslim friends, to have them as my friend and them. We've had a good relationship, unlike then, that I used to be scared of coming in. And um, I've actually learned a lot about the school. I've learned, about, le learned some things about computer of which then I never knew, but now I've gone to know them and it's actually cool being here. Um, I didn't really pay much to what we're actually giving, I think is free. We only pay the thousand era for the form and that is it. And unlike other places where you get to pay like 15,000 naira for certificate course, 30,000 for diploma and all of that, we come here for free and what we've been given is much more than what we have paid for. I am Bala Aigarba. I'm from Plateau State. Even though I'm not here in your South, I'm from Wasi local government. And uh, uh, this thing started um, here in this very community. This thing started, we didn't take it serious. We thought it's something that uh, is just going to start and at the end of the day, they will just disappear. But to be frank with two people, these are things that we need them because it has bring a lot. A lot in the sense like uh, 
unity and to development. Before this place, uh, it was a crisis area. It's a dominated place by Muslims, and these people happen to come and locate this thing here. Many Christians, as a result of this particular computer institute, are, it becomes a workable place to them. They will come for this particular purpose of learning computer, and they will go. And today, I'm telling you, some Christians are still living in this very community. And uh, in, the, in terms of development that I'm saying in this community, many of our youth here, they are now computer literate. They can operate computer. And uh, in terms of the uh, facilities in the, in the place, peop the people that uh, brought this very development, of, they have tried. They, they, in fact, the, the place is well facilitated. Every student has his own computer to learn and to operate on. And the teachers that are uh, uh, teaching here, they are putting their best. They are well-organized teachers. When the, I, I think it was last time, the people that graduated before us, I have a friend. He is he, with them. In fact, he teach me a lot and he encouraged me that I should just come and join this place because they are giving their best. So being him to advise me, I said, let me come. How much you people paid for this? He said it's, it's free. They don't collect any cobble. In fact, it's just free. And I want to call on people that these are things that we need more of them in this country. Because it brings unity. It links unity between Muslims and Christians. Between Muslims and Muslims, and between Christians and Christians. Um, I am Zahreddin Muhammad Musa. I hail from the South Local Government, Bukuru in particular. And I happen to be one of the instructors here in Bukuru Ken Computer Institute. And uh, I have started lecturing here around June 2014, almost two years now. And uh, we are doing well, I and my colleague. And we've graduated almost uh, 100 plus students here in this institute, both certificate and diploma courses. Yes, Bukuruken Computer Institute has immensely contributed towards the development of peace in Bukuru, just south and plateau in general. Uh, because uh, before, all the local communities used to be no-go areas. The Christians don't used to mingle with the Muslims and the Muslims don't used to mingle with the Christians. But now, with this uh, development in Bukurikian Computer Institute, and uh, the Muslim students used to pay a courtesy visit to the Christian community, and also the Christian used to pay a visit to the Muslim community. We are one. Yeah, at the installment of this institute, we had some challenges in which we have, we have no Christian students. Uh, in the first set, we have 20 student, We had 20 students in which all of them are Muslims. And the Christians uh, used to a kind of uh, talking in the, talk in their communities that Bukuru Ken Computer Institute is meant for Muslim students. But with our awareness, in the second set, we had three to five Christian students in which after they have graduated, they told their colleagues and friends that Bukuru Ken Computer Institute is meant for everybody. It's meant for Christians and Muslims. Therefore, in the next set, we had almost eight Christian students. But I want to assure you now that we have almost uh, 12 students in Bukuru Ken uh, Computer Institute that are Christians. And we also have awaiting files of more than 25 students that are Christians, which they want to be enrolled in this institute. And by God's grace, in the next set, we will give them more chance. And we have, uh, the place is acquainted with facilities. We have 30 computers now, and each and every student has his own system. And uh, the relationship of the students to the systems is one-to-one -one relationship, one student per system. And we have uh, solar panels that run the system. We have also generator and then we have uh, the NEPA source. But we don't much rely on the NEPA source. Normally, we use the generator. 
And we used to fuel the generator every month, at least minimum. We used to spend almost uh, 10 to 12,000 Naira for fueling the generator. And the students are paying a token fee of 1,000 Naira for their registration, in which we use it to fuel the generator, buy the equipment to make their models, and uh, for the maintenance issue. Uh, basically, uh, there are some students that uh, we enroll them for free here. And because uh, the last exams we did to them, we gave them, is uh, they should write about themselves. And we mean true story about themselves. And most of them, we realized that they were orphans. And we just took them for free. Everything is free. Even their ID cards and every, every. And most of our students that graduated from here, we taught them some skills that they can even work for themselves and earn money for themselves. And they are now doing well with this computer issue and the computer knowledge they get from here. Yes, of course. If we have more of these settings, I believe peace will be back in Plateau in Nigeria as a whole.